M. F. K. Fisher, that redoubtable writer on food, once noted that the basis of French cuisine is butter, that of Italy, olive oil, of Germany, lard, and of Russia, sour cream. Water, or drippings, are attributed to English kitchens, and those of America, the flavor of innumerable tin cans. Fortunately, there is reason to believe that the circumstance in America is changing for the better. There probably has never been such an absorbing interest in fine cuisine in the home as there is in this decade. While it is true that scarcely a day passes in which some manufacturer or another does not introduce a new instant product, it is also true that world travel on a scale unsurpassed in history is making the American palate more sophisticated. Thanks to modern appliances, the amount of time spent in the kitchen for the average homemaker has decreased considerably over the past few years. On the other hand, more and more men, women, and children seem to discover the pleasures of the table. Cooking is at once one of the simplest and most gratifying of the arts, but to cook well, one must love and respect food. It is hoped that the major audience for this volume will be those who are willing to pamper the palates of themselves and their friends. To enjoy the pleasures of the palate does not categorize a man as either gourmand or glutton. As Dr. Samuel Johnson once observed, he who does not mind his belly will hardly mind anything else.